We're learning more details about a disturbing murder investigation. Donald Greenslit is accused of stabbing the mother of his two children and trying to burn her remains in the fireplace. Tonight, we're combing through the evidence of this case to find out what led up to this tragic crime. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau is in our newsroom with what he's uncovered. This affidavit for the search warrant obtained by Target 12 contains details of where Donald Greenslit was hours before the body of his common-law wife was discovered. According to the court document, this Gonzalez cab picked up Greenslit from 16 Pershing Road and drove him to his mother's home on George Waterman Road where Greenslit had been living. According to the affidavit obtained by Target 12, the cab driver helped Greenslit load a red toolbox, five milk crates of firewood, and a circular saw from Greenslit's mother's home into the trunk of the cab. Greenslit was then driven back to Pershing Road, which was still hours from becoming a crime scene. How many police did you Stephen Amaral is neighbors with Greenslit's mother and had no idea why his street was packed with police cars when the search warrant was executed at the end of January. The whole street was packed. Probably detectives. There had to be three, four of them, but there was one couple that day on the porch. The body of Stacy Dorego was discovered in the basement fireplace in the Pershing Road home on January 23rd. Friends of the cab driver tell us he was shocked to discover he not only drove Greenslit to and from the murder scene, but that he also helped him carry the tools and firewood. No one answered the door at Greenslit's mother's home, but neighbors tell us they can't believe the crime on Pershing Road is connected to their neighborhood as well. I think that's nuts because, like I said, I'm, I'm a neighbor. Man. I got a little granddaughter I bring here and everything. The affidavit also indicates police took several pieces of evidence from Greenslit's mother's home, including two cell phones, a camera, and assorted paperwork. Greenslit is currently being held without bail. With the Target 12 investigators in the newsroom, Walt Guteau, Eyewitness News.